Hello all, uh, this is Anshuman. I am currently working with IT company in Bangalore, India for the past three years and I took this course because of the inherent appeal that nanosciences ignites in me. My topic for this project is single electron transistor and I will be covering the following topics. Uh, the topics are history of transistor, introduction to transistor, why uh, single electron transistor that is SCT, what is SCT, a structure of SCT, how does SCT works, operation of SCT, procedure, Coulomb Island on SCT, drawbacks and applications, conclusion and references. So in 19th century, uh, the transistor era started with Shockley, Britain and Bardeen invention of the transistor. Then uh, the Moore's law came which says that the transistor density on integrated circuit doubles every after every two years. So um, we have an uh, introduction to transistor. Um, an in introduction to transistor will uh, cover uh, what's basically a transistor is. A transistor is a solid state semiconductor device which can be used for numerous purposes include, including signal modulation, amplification, voltage stabilization and many others. Transistor act like a variable valve which based, based on its input current or input voltage in case of FETs uh, allow a precise amount of current to flow through it from the circuit's voltage supply. Why do we need a single electron transistor? So because uh, uh, there were some problems uh, and the future need of, of the future, we would be changing uh, this uh, SAT was discovered and the problem was like uh, the ICs were consuming a lot of power and uh, the need was high performance and high information processing speeds as well as uh, we, we, we should get a high density and high processing chip at a smaller size so if we want a device at a smaller size to be highly perform with a high performance it has to be a uh, it has to consist of <clears throat> a, sing a small device of high performance has to consist of not necessarily but uh, at the present uh, technology it has to have high density chips so that's that's why uh, SAT was discovered so what is SAT? SAT is a uh, basically, uh, in uh, MOSFETs, we use many electrons simultaneously participate in the source to gain current. But electrons in SAT devices, they are transferred one by one through the channel. And this transfer is controlled by the gate voltage. And there is a gate capacitor uh, in, the, in case of SAT. So, uh, we'll see this in the future uh, slides. The single electron transistor is a new type of switching device that uses controlled electron tunneling to amplify current. And it uses the quantum mechanical principles and it, it exploits the quantum effect of tunneling. Tunneling is a discrete process and is possible because of the wave-like properties of the matter. And the quantum mechanics allows a small particle such as electron to overcome potential barrier larger than kinetic energy. So, uh, we'll look into the structure of a city. A city consists of a quantum dot or island. The two tunnel junctions are there, uh, which are made up of insulators, a gate electrode, and a gate capacitor. So this defi uh, we have a gate here, uh, so basically it's the same as the transistor. We have a source, we have a drain, we have a source here, we have a drain here, and then uh, we have a gate here. 
uh, and this is a uh, insulators basically at the end of the two metals and this is the channel the channel consists of a quantum dot so the channel uh, is named as a quantum dot artificial atom or coulomb channel all, all this is a synonymous term for quantum dot How does SAT work? SAT is uh, similar to MOS transistor except that we have a nano dot instead of a channel. The channel is of very small size. The dot is separated by uh, from the source and drained by thin insulators. SiO2 can be used as an insulator, and this uh, we can see here that the uh, this dot uh, here is separated from source and drained by thin insulators. Uh, this is called the tunnel barrier. So we have the island here. It's also known as the island, Coulomb Island. And uh, <clears throat> so this diagram represents uh, island tunnel junction on gate source capacitor. Okay, and the, the dot is separated from source and drained by thin insulator. Electron tunnel in two steps from source to dot and dot to drain. There are two steps involved in the tunneling of the electron. The gate voltage is used to control the charge on the gate dot capacitor CG. So we use the gate voltage to uh, use uh, to control the gate on the gate dot capacitors. So uh, we have uh, the tunnel junction and schematic uh, diagram is like uh, we have a this is the metal and this is the metal and we have a tunnel junction M, this metal M1 this metal M2 this the tunneling uh, insulator is there insulator uh, insulator and uh, this metal this this is the insulator and there is the tunneling this is the tunneling junction small part here the tunnel junction consists of two metal pieces separated by a very thin insulator consists of two metal pieces separated in a very thin insulator the only way for electron in one of the metal electrode to travel to the other electrode is to tunnel through the insulator so tunneling is a discrete process and the electric charge that flows through the tunnel junction flows in multiple of charge of electrons that is E SAT is made by placing two tunnel junctions in series. This is the procedure to make the SAT. Two tunnel junctions create what is known as Coulomb Island that electrons can enter only by tunneling through one of the insulators. The device has three terminals like FAT. The cap may no longer be like third tunnel junction, but it is much thicker and so that more electrons could tunnel through it. So the way of setting the electric charge on the Coulomb Island. A key point is that the charge passes through the island in quantized units. For an electron to hop onto the island, its energy must be equal to the Coulomb energy. When both the gate and the bias voltage are zero, electrons do not have enough energy to enter the island and current does not flow. As the base voltage, as the bias voltage between the source and the drain is increased, the current can pass through the island when the energy in the system reaches the Coulomb energy. This effect is known as Coulomb blockade, and the current, and the critical voltage needed to supply the transfer of electron to the E by C is called the Coulomb energy gap. For functioning of SAT, the capacitance of the island must be less than 10 raised to power minus 17 farads, and therefore its size must be smaller than 10 nanometer. The wavelength of the electrons is comparable with the size of the dot, which means that the confinement energy makes a significant contribution to the Coulomb energy. Coulomb Island. Uh, so it's a uh, when a capacitor is charged through a resistor, the charge on the capacitor is proportional to the applied voltage 
and shows no sign of quantization. But in case of tunnel junction, uh, when we are following the same process, a conducting island is formed between the junction and the capacitor plate. In this case, the average charge on the island increases in steps as the voltage is increased. And this is basically happening because of the quantized level of electrons energy. The temperature are the steps are sharper for more resistive barriers and at lower temperatures. Coulomb blockage is the effect in which an electron cannot pass through the island unless the energy in the system is equal to the Coulomb energy. And what is Coulomb energy? It's equal to E square by capacitive gate capacitance. Coulomb blockage tries to alleviate any leak by current during the off state of the SAT. So uh, application of SAT. So SAT can be used in quantum computers in microwave detection and high sensitivity electrometer. It can also be uh, used uh, to set up a uh, high degree of programmability with low device count. Uh, it can be used in uh, super sensitive electrometry. If the source strain voltage to a single electron transistor is slightly over its Coulomb blockage threshold, then uh, the source strain current through the device is extremely sensitive to the gate voltage. In microwave detection, uh, microwave has low frequency and so low energy, so detection would have not been possible without SCT. Yeah. There are few drawbacks as well. It is susceptible to background charge and high bit error rates are there and it is operational at room temperature and fabrication is uh, a bit difficult for SAT devices. Okay, the conclusion, uh, in conclusion, uh, we can say that the researcher may someday assemble these transistors into molecular version of silicon chips but there are still formidable hurdles to cross. And SATs could be used for memory device, but even the latest SATs suffer from offset charges, which means that the gate voltage needed to achieve maximum current varies randomly from device to device. Such fluctuations make it impossible to build complex circuits. In the future, uh, SATs could be used for memory devices and uh, these can be assembled into transistors uh, into molecular versions of silicon chips but there are formidable hurdles to cross. The development of new temperature single electron devices may provide some important spin-offs for digital world even at the low integration stage, scale stage. So the future looks brighter, and this is the references uh, from where uh, we have uh, I have uh, made this slide presentation. Okay, thank you all. Thanks for watching.